In a game where size and strength are valuable assets, 5'8", 170-pound Hunter Garland is far from a giant on the ice. Around 15, 16, I realized that I wasn't going to be one of the bigger guys on the ice, and, you know, I, I think it motivated me to work that much harder. But the product of Welland, Ontario, more than makes up for it with his speed, skill, and a fearless attitude. I try and play like I'm 6'2". <laughs> I guess sometimes I wish I was that big, but uh, you know, you gotta, I guess it's the size of the heart, not the, the size of the body. The heart of Hunter has been on display ever since he arrived in Peterborough. 30 points in 25 games. More importantly, he's made other players around him better, not just with his skill, but with his attitude. He just has this contagious personality that he's, he's always in a good mood regardless of the situation. And as soon as we picked him up, you could tell that affected our entire dressing room and it made other guys pick up their attitudes a little bit. I think you could see that in the success we had as a team. I think right from when I was eight years old, my dad always told me that my two greatest assets were my speed and my smarts. And, you know, I've just tried to continue to build off that up until now. And, you know, I've, every time I'm on the ice in practice, I'm trying to get better. And while this was a career year for Hunter Garland, it has also been a season of turmoil. As just three weeks ago, Hunter lost his father and his best friend, Robert Garland, who passed away suddenly at just 48 years of age. When it's sudden, I guess it, it's tough. You know, you look and you see things that I guess you, you maybe missed, right? You maybe, uh, you know, you didn't talk on the phone that day, you didn't text or whatever, but, you know, I have so many great memories with my dad and uh, zero regrets and, you know, it, like I said, uh, he was the best father I could ever ask for, and everything he did for myself as well as my brothers is unbelievable. And you know, it's it's made us all, you know, great people and strong people to be able to handle this situation. I think. For a father that never missed one of his son's games, Robert Garland will now be with his son and the rest of the Peets on the ice for the rest of the season, as the Peets have been wearing Robert's initials on the back of their helmets and will do so for the remainder of the playoffs. My first game in Peterborough, I, I probably played more minutes than I've ever played before, and that's probably one of the best memories, walking out and you know, knowing he's watched every game since I was eight years old, the smile on his face. I don't think I've, I've ever seen a smile like that on him before. Uh, he always tried to you know, keep it in and tell me I gotta keep getting better, and you know, he, was, uh, he was happy that day. While Hunter Garland has impressed us with his offensive abilities, we should be more impressed with how he's handled this tragic event as he has shown incredible courage in the face of tragedy and remains now ever so focused to continue to be the best hockey player, not just for himself, but for his father. And now it's just playing for my dad, really. He's, uh, you know, he's always been in the stands. He, he loves standing up in the corner. He's not really much for sitting. He was always fidgety and, you know, into the game probably as much as anyone else, but yeah, I guess now it's just playing for the both of us and doing everything possible to, uh, you know, achieve. If I could live a life like he did and be a father like he was, that's more than enough.